Hello. Davey boy, I'm having a bit of a get together on mine. You up for it? Oh, I can't not tonight, Ben. You know I've got more than just that job interview tomorrow. Are things any better between you and Moe? No, not really. I think it might be over. Come on round, mate. Take your mind off it. Or did you not schedule yourself some spontaneous fun today? But this is serious, Ben. I'm not coming out tonight, so stop asking me. It's um, very nice of you to take such good care of me. <laughs> yeah, indeed. What time did you call the police? Would you like another cup of tea? Oh, no thanks. Twelve's my limit. <laughs> uh, do you want me to call them for you? There's no need. Um, they'll get around to me eventually. It's been over four hours. <laughs> I'll do it. You've been so kind. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello there. Yes, I rang a while ago concerning a break-in. Yes, I'll hold. Is everything okay? Fine. <laughs> it's fine. They have me on hold. I'm fine, really. Um, have they put you on hold again? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'll have a word with no, them. No, really, it's fine. You've I'll... already done so much. No! What are you doing? <laughs> no! At the third stroke, the time sponsored by... Don't be mad. Can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. Were you actually broken into? Defined broken into. Oh, God. Joan, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not crazy. But I love you! I knew as soon as I saw you, you had to be mine. I love you, Dave. Don't you love me? We've only ever spoken twice, Joan. It was love at first sight. It was a way you held my hand! Stop speaking, I was a bit worried. I think we've said enough. <laughs> Look, why don't I pop back home and uh, bring us a nice bottle of wine? Make this moment more special, oh, yes. if that's possible. Oh, that's a great idea. <coughs> yes, it will, um, it will make the moment more... Um, more... Uh, uh, romantic? <laughs> We're finishing each other's sentences already. <laughs> Joan, can you uh, unlock the door, please? Oh, 
I'll be waiting for you. Upstairs. Nata. Absolute Nata. been offered a job in Manchester and I don't think there's enough here for me anymore to turn it down. I know that you found it hard since you've been made redundant but you've not been yourself for months. You're not my Dave. Are you going to say anything? I thought you'd at least want to talk about it. How have I changed? You don't take risks anymore. Everything's so ordered and organised. Yeah, because we're not at the university anymore. We're in the real world. Why didn't you tell me that you're going for a job? I applied around the time that you lost yours. It just didn't seem like the right time. I didn't think I'd get the job. <laughs> But you did? Yeah, I did. And I don't feel bad about that. Huh. Sounds like you made your mind up. So this is just a goodbye then, is it? We really don't, you really don't think we can work this out? I don't think we can. I'm sorry. Maya! I'll come with you. I don't believe you. No, it's over, David. No, I'm serious. I want to come with you. Why? Because you're the only thing that's keeping me here. Maya, you're all I've ever wanted. I don't care where I am as long as I'm with you. Don't give up on us, right? I can't imagine my life without you, right? I haven't felt like a part of your life in a long time. You not wanting to be on your own isn't a good enough reason to come with me. It's too late, David. We tried. No matter what, I'll need you. Just not enough. Be strong for me. I don't know how to be strong without you, well, right? Be strong for yourself. Because oh, if this is it, if this is goodbye, right. I don't want to have to spend the rest of my life wondering, you know, what if? I didn't think I'd ever see you again that night. Nothing went right. I got the times of the film wrong. Do you remember we got there five hours early? 
when we had lunch at Frank and Benny's and I lied and told you I'd been there before. I ordered that large pizza and you ordered the small one. And when they arrived, mine was like four times the size of yours. <laughs> the look on your face. And I was so nervous, I just wolfed it down and made myself really sick. And then we spent two hours just looking at that giant computer screen in the arcade. And you held my hand the whole time and I wanted to kiss you, but I just didn't have the courage. Why are you telling me? Hear me out, please. And even through the movie we held hands and I really wanted to kiss you, but nerves got the better of me. Oh. And we walked back to the station. It's wrong with this thing. And what did you say to me? Ah. You said... Are you going to kiss me at any point tonight, you fool? And do you remember what I said after we kissed? I do. But I want to hear you say... I said, you do realise that you'll never get rid of me now. Well, I still mean that. So take me with you. Oh, but this will be, this will be um... I have never been more sure I got about a job. in my life. A proper job. In Manchester. What? And I'm gonna take it. You've changed. Oh. You're not my Dave anymore. What the fuck does that mean? It feels like you were slipping away right in front of my eyes. I'm taking the train there. Please don't contact me or try to find me. Take care of yourself. Oh, I'll go down there and tell them I'm no longer available. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet I head off and tell him the bad news. Oh, shit! Oh, I think I should tell him face to face. Oh. <laughs> Train station. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be by about eight tonight. I am capable of packing myself, you know. Please start. Come on. Oh my God. I love you, Maya. Oh dear God, start. Please, please. Oh shit. Yes. Danny boy, didn't think you knew there was an AM. Oh, I know there's an AM, mate. It's when normal people go to bed, not get up. You all right? I feel great for the first time in ages. Everything seems so clear. Really? I thought you'd be a wreck. But I saw Maya. She was in tears, mate. <laughs> you couldn't have done, mate. Me and Maya were fine. I've got to go. Um, come around now later on. We'll sort this out then.